So how many of you stuck with this message right here? I bet a lot of you, right? Your CPU overloads and you can't finish the session and you can't run anything because the CPU is overpowered, right? Well, there's a way to fix this. Number one way, go to audio and let's go to your buffer size. And if you have it at 32 for recording and you're just, you're done with recording, just mixing, just go to 1024. So that's the first way to fix it if you're just trying to finish mixing uh, without that overload issue. Okay, so the second way you wanna fix this is the way you wanna do this going down the road of uh, doing more sessions. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna take all your tracks that have the same exact effects for like the leads, the ad-libs and the stacks, let's say like all the same tracks that have the same effects, instead of duplicating those tracks multiple times like it is here, you see how the hook and the verse, same effects, hook stack, same effects, like it's all basically the same thing. Instead of having all those plugins duplicated multiple times, just send them out to auxes. So the way you send them out is that you see how all these tracks are going to stereo out. All of these are going to the master stereo. So what you can do is you can go to copy channel strip settings, take this, go to bus four, name it your leads or your ad -libs or whatever you want to name it. Like this is what, this is the ad -lib track. So we'll bust it out to the ad -libs, right? And then take all these effects right here and you can go copy channel strip settings and you can just paste it right here, Pan paste channel strip settings. The only thing I would change though is that change this back to stereo out. There you go. Now you got this track going through bus six. So this track right here is, so now, now that this track is going through bus six, we can take all the effects off here. All these effects can go away now. And then same thing with Adlib Outro. Since bus six already has all, the, all these effects right here, we can just turn these all off and then bust it out to bus six, like right here. And now both of these tracks are just using the same exact aux, bus six, and they're only using the plugins one time. See how there's only one time there, but both of these are going to this. That will save you CPU power. It's called, um, you know, it's just plug-in optimization so you can save CPU power. And you want to do that with everything pretty much. So same thing with the hooks and the verses. The hooks and the verse are going to have the same exact plugins. So let's go ahead and bust those out to bus, uh, we'll say bus four. That's going to be our leads. Yep, take all these plugins. Like I said, you can either click them, drag them over. But what I like to do is faster, copy channel strip settings, paste it, and then just turn, turn this back to stereo output, and then turn these all off. And then do the same exact thing with this. Since we already have, since, you know, since, like I said, since leads, since our bus release already exists, we'll just go to bus four, see all the effects are there, and I'll just turn it off. And now this will do the same thing with the hook stacks. We'll make its own plugin for it called bus five stacks. I mean, all the effects are already there because I guess I did it earlier, but take these all off. And now, instead of all your tracks having all these crazy amount of plugins, look how many there is now. There's only these three. There's only these three. Instead of having all of these. And that's how you save a lot more CPU power. So just make sure you're sending all your tracks that have the same effects, you're busting them out to auxes with those plugins. That way you can save CPU power. Um, yeah, let me know if that makes any sense. Uh, it's kind of complicated to explain, but this is what you want to do for future sessions if you want to save CPU power, is just make sure you're using your busters right. That way you can just send all those powerful plugins out to one buster and then only have to use them once instead of having it, you know, like four or five times here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, look how many, you don't need it this many times. That's why the CPU runs out so fast. So the less you have, uh, the better, your, the more CPU you'll have. But like I said, you got to use your busters. So send those tracks out to busters and then, um, You'll be good, man. Yeah, and just make sure those buses are going to the master and you should be straight. Yeah, that's it.